Uh, the first thing you want to do is basically uh, get the water boiling and then you get the I use a, fr a French rolling pin uh, for my um, stirrer and I get the powdered yam and I just pour it in and just stir it so I just keep stirring this way pour and stir and just keep stirring keep going so basically the result that you're trying to look for is something that's really really thick don't worry if it's too thick because you can always pour water inside it to thin it out after uh, you boil it over so I'm just going to keep doing this and you just want to stir it so grab the the French pin, uh, the rolling pin this way and just stir and do this and then stir right now I'm actually going to pour more yam, um, powdered yam inside it because it's a little bit soft and I don't like it that's this soft so I'm going to pour more powdered mm -hmm. yam Pour a little and then just stir. So you just keep doing this until all the powder is well mixed into the mixture. And you can keep your light actually at a, a low heat. So make sure it's like really low because you don't want it to burn. Okay. But um, just keep stirring it and as you can see the mixture now, the flour is really well incorporated into the mixture. So it's not like too thick it's not too soft it's just like at a medium um, consistency and what I do next after this is just pour some you know you can use a lukewarm water or um, warm water and just pour it pour a little bit inside it what I'm trying to basically do is just um, make sure the powder is well cooked so that we don't taste the flour taste so I'm just gonna use the water like mix it in and they call this um, container, it's actually from, they call it uh, Ibako, it's a calabash, uh, it's some sort of like a plant that actually grows in Nigeria that people, a couple of women and men carve it out and then we use it in the kitchen to be able to scoop out the pounded yam. So I'm just going to let the pounded yam boil for a little bit, so just to let the flour cook more, um, like incorporate itself into each other. So just pour more water inside it. Whee! Oops. And then just cover it for like about three minutes because you don't want it to burn. This is the last end of the fufu. So we've allowed it to like boil for less than a minute or two. And um, now the yam, yeah, um, the flour is well incorporated. And so this is the final product. It's like the water is all incorporated into the fufu and really smooth and I just get a bowl and uh, use the ibako, I don't know what you call it in English and just scoop the, um, actually maybe you call it a ladle you just scoop the pan at the end to the portion that you want to serve so just basically it you can roll it around you just do this you get like a Move shape and you can just pour the um, sauce actually